Okay, so I'm going to show how to uh, run processing sketch on a, a headless uh, Linux server. So basically now I'm, uh, I am logged into the Ubuntu machine and uh, I'm going uh, to, I'm now in my home directory and I'm in the Ubuntu directory called processing. And you can see that over here I have several things. Um, this one is the downloaded zip, which uh, the archive which I downloaded for the distribution of processing. Here is the directory where I actually have un, uh, unpacked it. And then I have two sketches. One is a uh, rect sketch, which as the name suggests just draws a rectangle. And another is load RSS via XML. This is a sketch which is uh, uh, querying the RSS feed uh, and fetches it as an XML and parses. And then I have a utility script here, run headless sh, which helps to do this quicker but I'll go through the steps so first let's take a look at this folder what's inside here so I'm gonna go to processing and you can see that I have here all the directories for the um, uh, for the processing then this is the PDE executable and this is the what we're gonna be interested in this is the um, small executable file that, to run or compile sketches processing sketches from command line so basically, if we uh, try to run this one, it's gonna, it's gonna show us certain parameters. You can see that basically it's, there's nothing more. Uh, and what the parameters is gonna need is the sketch. It takes the parameter folder of where the sketch is, not the file name, but the folder. It's says here and the output is where the sketch is going to be compiled into uh, force we're going to use this one it will over, uh, override the uh, sketch if it was already compiled and run it will run uh, the sketch if uh, it has uh, if it will run the sketch actually so uh, let's go uh, one directory higher and then we can see we have this uh, a rect sketch directory, which I'm gonna go into now. And you can see there's only one file called rect sketch, and if I open it in the editor, you can see that all it does is sets up the screen size, draws a rectangle, prints, we have finished drawing a rectangle, what is this fancy symbol over here? I don't know, probably I need to remove it. Mistake, and then it just says no loop and exit, and I just call exits over here as well, just to be sure that it quits the sketch, uh, as it was a bit strange. So um, that's all it is about this rectangle sketch. So let's try to. I'm gonna clear the screen, and let's try to uh, compile the sketch. So I'm gonna call from the processing folder to processing java and then the parameters sketch equals to rect sketch as I'm gonna run it from the current directory it's uh, the correct path then output equals to rect rect output and then minus minus force minus minus run. So this, the force symbol is gonna, now it's not gonna do anything, but if we're gonna use this command again, it's gonna recompile the sketch and override the old version. Whereas run just tells the thing to run. And I'm trying to do that. And uh, I'm trying to do that. And what I can see is a very, very good message, which tells me that uh, and actually it doesn't exist. So basically I tried to run it and it says headless exception uh, no x11 oh no x11 display variable was set program performed operation which requires it and that's the problem I was talking about the p applet uh, the p applet over here and run sketch uh, is calling this uh, method get screen devices and this get screen devices is only available when there is some uh, some environment 
So, uh, in order to avoid this problem, what we have to do, we have to start the uh, XVFP uh, server. So this is, I assume you have already installed it. So then you start it by typing XVFB, then you put the screen number, uh, screen zero, uh, then some kind of resolution, uh, and we put the end symbol, just so that run in the background and it looks like it it's working. So it, it gives all those error messages saying that there is some kind of uh, problem with the font, but don't pay attention, they don't seem to matter. Okay, now we're gonna uh, try the, our command as well. So we go to uh, processing, processing uh, Java, and then we go minus minus sketch equals to rect rect uh, sketch rect sketch and then minus minus output equals to rect output minus minus force minus minus run and let's try this and let's see what's gonna happen and crap Okay, actually I forgot one thing. Uh, again, the sketch doesn't run, but I have forgotten one thing. I've forgotten to export the uh, environmental uh, environment variable. So I put export. This export should be run right after our uh, xvfb command. So export display uh, equal. That's the name of the display. And now, if I execute the command, the processing again, it should work. Okay, let's see what uh, there is. It's a bit of a mess over here of everything. Um, okay, here it is. The sketch has finished. All this rubbish is just created by the uh, by the XVFB server. You may not actually uh, see this very well, but that's the output from the sketch because we finished drawing rectangle, rectangle, and I can tell you that um, if we go if we we go to um, rect sketch and we have. You can see that it is typing here. We finished drawing rectangle. So rectangle is has been drawn. So basically, you can see that it has been uh, uh, it has been uh, the, uh, the sketch has been run. We have also received this rect output di directory, which we can go into and um, we can see. That there over here we can have a we have a rect sketch class and uh, there is source as well. Obviously, to run this class you need to use Java. You need to specify all the class path and everything. But that's uh, obviously if you, you you probably know how to do that over here. I just try to use the simple way using processing Java and recompile everything. And I'll try to use another uh, example. Uh, you can see that I want to clear things a little bit. You can see that over here I have another directory load RSS via XML, and here you can have we have another sketch which is uh, loading RSS via XML. Uh, this is just to show you that the network functionality as well works. So I'm going into this directory, and all you can see here is just a load RSS via XML PD, which is a very simple sketch. Uh, And let's take a look at the sketch. So we have a setup over here, and this example of headless sketch, which simply fetches RSS thread, actually RSS feed, and prints it to the console. So uh, it all everything happens in the setup method. If we look uh, a bit uh, on the button, the draw doesn't have anything, as I was showing before. 
and let's take a look at what happens. So we print out the screen querying RSS feed, we save time, uh, current time uh, to the variable, then we call load XML and we parse uh, pass it the path of the RSS feed for processing forum. You can see it's over here. Uh, it's not just an RSS feed. Then after the uh, after the uh, this is gonna be uh, after this load XML, you're gonna uh, see how much time has passed in milliseconds, and we're gonna type elapsed certain amount of milliseconds and then we're just gonna parse the XML and just print out all the post head headers so that's it, all it is to it uh, you can see also that um, we are not using any external libraries load XML is the core functionality there is no any imports or anything on top so uh, this is why it makes the sketch even easier uh, so Again, uh, I'm going to clear and uh, I'm just going to type what we have here so that we are, uh, know what we're talking about. So, uh, again, I'm going to try to run processing, processing, and Java, and then I perform sketch equal to load RSS by XML, and then output equal to RSS. Put force run. Now let's see what happens. Okay, something is. I don't know anything about output RSS up. Okay, I forgot the to specify here two dashes. And here we are. We're running the sketch. Okay, see querying RSS feed. This is the message from our. This is the message from our sketch. Uh, this is the message from the uh, from the X11 server. Elapsed 6.5.5 seconds has taken to uh, fetch the feed, and you can see that uh, we have actually uh, we have three. We have more of them. Uh, we have several. These are the. So here is our our execution. I'm just going to type a little bit. Uh, so this is the the command I ran. Processing Java sketch output force run. When we ran, this is the output from the X11 server. This is already the output from our sketch. You can see that first the sketch said that they're querying RSS feed, it queried it, it told us that it took him 6500 milliseconds, which is 6.5 seconds, and then it just types all the uh, titles of all the uh, uh, topics from the processing forum it has managed to fetch. And it continues typing them, typing, typing them, and then over here, on the bottom you can see that um, it's typing finished, and we have all the output again from the X Windows server, which is a bit rubbish, uh, but still, and this is again is a bit rubbish, the same thing, and but it still works. It still works. Um, so hopefully you are uh, clear now.